Hey guys, how you doing? Um, something interesting came up as I was thinking tonight, and with the whole Star Trek thing, the new movies, how they they portray star dates as the year dot number of days and you know the number of days it's transpired past. And I thought, well, how how would I do that in Java? And it's quite simple. So I'm gonna let's go ahead and dive in some code here, and we will uh, we'll show you. So for here we have our stardate.java class file that we're going to uh, type in. So we're first going to import Java util calendar. Nothing, you know, nothing big there. Uh, public class stardate. Public static void main string. Okay, so we're going to create, use the calendar, and we're going to get the instance of that calendar, so we have a, a date option. And then, we're going to get the day of the year, right? So we're going to do calendar.get, and we're going to use the day of year variable. And then if we print that out, we'll get the, the date or the how many days have passed since the first of the year. So let's go over to our terminal here and let's compile it. Oops, made a small error, which tends to happen. Do it again. There we go, 98 days. So, how do we get it to print out the year? And then that, right? So if we do calendar, year so we're going to output the calendar year decimal point and then the, the day of the year simple straightforward stuff right That's not what we wanted. Um, oh, I know what we need to do. We probably need to do calendar get year, right? Because it's it be the same type of thing. I'm thinking. We run it again. Let's see here. Compile it. So there you go. So today's start date would be two thousand seventeen point nine eight. Just a little fun little thing to do. Obviously. You don't know how people's minds aren't wired to think this way. Um, but they could be. So yeah, uh, just some, some some fun times going on here. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll catch you later. Alright, happy coding. Bye now.